After months of silence, KK Studios has finally come out with some news about Freeman Guerrilla Warfare's overhaul. Now, if you've been living under an indie rock for a while and you don't know anything about this game, watch my previous video on Freeman to get my opinion about the game's current situation and development. I am going to read this straight off the, uh, the Steam post for the news. First of all, it is important to note that everything that's showcased is a work in progress and is being subject to change. Secondly, the majority of our progress is on the tech part of development and art related part contains many placeholders and will be our next step of development. Currently, we are 80% done with the framework and our next step will be adding content. So in the following months, we can expect more screenshots and maybe videos showcasing the new game. On today's screenshots, you will see the new squad customization screen, inventory screen, world map, and some combat maps in production. There is also a better weapon customization screen, and a newly added faction and political map. Alright, so based off of what was said in the news post, I think we'll possibly see this overhaul drop either by the end of this year or early 2023. Based on the screenshots, which are the ones that are going by on your screen now, Graphically right now, it's not a huge improvement, but it is better in aspects. But maybe that's just the placeholders from the old game, who knows. I'm just telling you what it looks like to me from the screenshots they've provided. I do like the look of the new gun customization screen with the weapon stats on the right hand side with the bars. There also looks to be like a, uh, a bullet slot and a bucket icon. That could be for weapon skins or pink jobs, and the bullet could be special ammo types like AP or incendiary. Again, I don't know. I'm not sure of anything. This is just speculation. Then there's the screenshot of the in-game map where they drew lines to divide up the territory, similar to how Total War titles do that. Which, if you have different map modes where you can see like diplomacy, relations, and who owns what territory, it would be useful in that regard. And that's it for the dev update. There's not much to it. They posted something finally about it. I still wouldn't recommend anyone buying this game right now. Not until the overhaul drops. And then we'll see how much the game has changed. And if it's still just as fun and playable.